Hey guys, it's Tom here. Today we're just going to run through a few exercises, a few songs, just to give you something to think about. We're going to jump straight in. We've come together by the Beatles, played by Ringo Starr. And let's go. So, first two notes. Quite simple. Right hand, right foot together on the one hand. Very easy, very simple. I'm going to put the drum transcription on the screen as well for you, so as we go along you can look at it if you do read. It doesn't matter if you don't, just listen to the song and you can definitely hear where I'm coming from with a lot of this stuff. So next part of the groove, four notes on the hi-hat. Right, left, right, left. That's the sticking we're using. If you're left-handed, use left, right, left, right. So first half of the bar is now this. So we've got one and da 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 da. Cool. Now moving on to the second half of the bar, we've got six notes on your high tom, four notes on your floor tom running down, and it sounds like this. Quite simple. Again, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's the main takeaway from this. And now I'm going to play you the whole thing together with the spacing and everything. Cool. So that's the groove. Listen to the song. Use the song as a click track. Um, if you can't play it at the speed just yet, then just play it on your own and slow it way down. I'm going to play it a little bit slower for you now just so you can hear what that sounds like also. Main takeaway from this is your single stroke rolls. Practice them. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So, this next one, Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, great drummer Chad Smith. Really cool little groove, funky little groove. Uh, what we're going to work on mainly is ghost notes in this one. If you don't know what a ghost note is, it's just quieter than the other notes, hence the name Ghosted. So, this is the groove without any ghost notes at all or grace notes. Um, So hopefully we can play that by now. Cool little groove. With so but adding the, all the ghost notes, it's gonna sound like this. The two hardest thing in this groove is definitely the ghost note straight after the snare drum. Cause it's you've got to have a lot of stick control. You've got to make sure your stick isn't coming too far away from the head, so you can just tap tap on the next note so it comes with a sort of upstroke if you're getting ready for the next one just go down up it's only a slight movement it's not too over exaggerated so don't think about that too much but it's just make sure the first note's loud the second note's quiet and then we've got one after every hi-hat So like a right, left, right, left between your right hand and your left hand. Also, at the end of each bar, he likes to put a little buzz roll, or a little drag, which if you haven't done them before, a buzz roll is when you push the stick into the drum. It's quite difficult to do on electric drum kit, but I don't know if that's coming through. But it sort of just gives you more than one note, and it sounds quite nice. What I tend to do is a little double or a little drag, you could call it. So it's just two quick notes at the end there. Just sort of leading into the next bar of groove. So remember, like the other one, play this slowly until you get it nice. Listen to the track, that'll be your click track. Also have fun with this one. You can put snare drums anywhere. I know I'm not playing exactly like how he's played it on the track. 
you can just literally put as many to a point or any extra snare drums, ghosted snare drums that you want in there. So that's main that's the groove it sounds great have fun with it and yeah check it out Oh, yeah, so this is the last one, just a little uh, paradiddle exercise. So obviously, if you haven't played a paradiddle before, it is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And it sounds like this. So this is a paradiddle accent exercise. So just then I was accenting, obviously, the every one, the first one, the first right, and then as you switch, the first left through the bar. We're going to count this in 16th notes. So it's 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a. We're going to play a bar of 4. So a whole bar together sounds like this. And that's our whole bar. We're going to also put bass drums on a 1, 3 and hi-hats on the 2, 4. So we're just going to be alternating feet between the first right and first left. And that is, that's it. That's our first one. So the tricky part comes, it's a little brain teaser for you. And this is going to work on creativity, dynamics, note placement. Um, and it will just get your brain working against what your hands want to be doing, which is a great way to just practice anything. So hopefully on screen, there'll be something that shows you where the accents are and it'll give you like a visual aid. Hope the accents are going to be moving through the bar. So the first time we play the right, left, right, right, it'll sound like this. So the accent on the first one, and then the second time through we're accenting the left because that's the second note, the one E, if you want to call it. If we're counting one E and a, uh, the one E is now what we're going to accent. Keeping the bass drum on the one. And then we go through again. We're going to be accenting the and. The last one is on the uh. And the exercise here is just to put them all together. Start off really slow with this one because it will be trickier when you start it. And it's, it's just to show you what it will sound like, I'm going to play it a little bit slower. Um, and just go through the whole exercise. So a bar of each, obviously four in each. And I'm going to go through where the accents are going to be placed. So I'll put a click on as well, just so you can hear. Then background to the one. So that's the exercise, obviously 80 BPM slow. Start even slower if you can't get through the different ones. And then obviously then bring up the speed and use the ones in your plane that you like. But yeah, there you go. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, yeah, like everything else, have fun with it. Put it around the drums. If you want to even make it harder for yourself, put your feet where the accents are going to go. So it sounds a bit like this. And just follow your feet will then follow your hands and that's difficult you can then put the accents on different drums uh but that is that is a really good exercise give it a go try it out have fun cool so i hope you got something out of that uh sorry it was a little bit fast paced i just blasted for a few things there so if you got a bit lost no worries um tomldrums.co.uk the video will be up there if you want to watch anything back i'll put time stamps on the video as well so you can jump in and out of where you want to look at stuff also type in hearst peer point festival into google it will show you everything they've been doing lately and if you want to come down to one of the sessions we do in hearst peer point then feel free to do so hope you got something out of that have a good day see you later hey, Celebrity skin is this your gender? Is that one?